Um, it was very exciting because I'm actually a big fan of the key. So um, we we received the blank canvas key in the office, and we actually loved it in white. So it was a little bit of a challenge to actually get through. What are we going to do to it? How are we going to make it origin? So. Um, so it was a great project to have and yeah, we industrial designers so it was kind of a three-dimensional space to play with and I just loved it. So yeah, we were really happy to be invited. Beautiful. And how did you find the whole experience of bringing the key to life? Mm, the experience was a little bit, like at the beginning was a little bit of a challenge because we keep looking at this beautiful little piece that we travel a lot to Tokyo and we travel a lot to Hong Kong and many places so we're very familiar with which designers have actually done this before so it was very kind of complimenting to be now confronted with the white one and kind of make it our own so the first thing we did was just sit down put pen on paper started sketching putting things around it and and the main thing to me is just kind of how to how to put our brand into it was getting the big elements from our brand which was shiny quality and um, kind of molding or industrial design elements so that's where all the ears come from we kind of have them custom made and they all molded and, and the way they made is, is fantastic so so that's kind of what we wanted to project in our key so all your girl does it have a name Oh, it doesn't have a name. We call it many things. In the office, people keep going like, oh, the Oriton teddy bear. And, they're, and I'm like, no, it's a key. It's not a teddy bear, it's a key. So we actually didn't give it a name and we didn't give it a text either. So it was more like, the, yeah, our Oriton project, I guess. But yeah, we didn't give it a name. Lucky we don't. Tell us about the charity that Oriton's chosen. Oh, the charity is so close to our heart because I, am, I designed the key with our senior designer, Nick Clarkin. Unfortunately, passed away uh, from a sickness, and she used to go to this amazing school. And we always go to this school, like we went to this school already once to actually see how the kids um, perform and what they do in an everyday class. And she had um, a sickness called um, White Matter. I, I wouldn't be able to go into detail, but I just know that they just need so much love and so much attention. And, and so many people to be with them like we have a class they have a class normally with five people and they need almost five teachers to be around so we just thought it was something so close to our heart that is so many other people that need help but this one is just for us so we put a lot of love into the key actually just thinking of that